It's that time of year again where it starts to get very cold. So why don't we learn to breathe fire? We'll be using cornstarch to blow a huge flame out of our mouths. Now, this is safer than alcohol or kerosene or other combustible items simply because it can't be ignited when it's all packed together. It's a fine crushed form of corn so that when it's dispersed widely, the particles can instantly combust when hit with flame. See for yourself. Now cornstarch is only going to work as a fuel for the fire if it's very, very small and fine particles. So it's best that you sort of purse your lips together and just blow out a nice fine mist. Now as you see it took me a couple times to get the fire to go, but check this out. I'll show you exactly why cornstarch won't burn. So I used about half this amount to add to my mouth when I spit out the fire a few seconds ago. But basically this is going to be great. It doesn't matter how much we have as long as it's packed together we can't get it to really light. Now I'll take a match and I'll hold it on here and we'll see what happens. So this should show you why this is a safer method than spitting something out that is completely flammable. Now you will notice that when I sprinkle little bits on, they do ignite just a little bit. This is sort of the effect that I had when I blew it all out of my mouth at once, but of course on a much larger scale. Now remember, you don't necessarily have to actually put the cornstarch in your mouth. I just did that for extra added effect and to sort of make a disgrace of myself on the internet. However, you could easily roll up a piece of paper and blow it out like some sort of crazy horn that spits hot fire. So, you know, keep that in mind as you go into this experiment. Now, if you watch Scientific Tuesdays on a regular basis, then you probably know that right now we're participating in the Ford Global Drive campaign, and this is an attempt to try and raise some money and get some water wells built around the world in developing countries. Right now, we've partnered up with Revision 3 and Ford to enter this contest and try and get Scientific Tuesdays to win the $10,000 prize. Now, all you have to do is head over to revision3.com slash Ford Focus and vote for my show on there, and you know, if we win, then we've got two water wells built in the name of science. Also, you have a chance to participate in this yourself and possibly get $10,000 donated to any charity of your choice and also be sent to Madrid to be one of the first people in the world to test drive the new Ford Focus. Now, all you have to do to participate in that is go to facebook.com slash Ford Focus. Now let's take a look at some fail footage that I saved for the end for you guys who like to hang around. We really appreciate that. Now keep in mind, cornstarch is not easy to blow out. Once it gets wet, it just sticks to anything, which would explain why I had it all over my entire body after this. But anyway, we'll see you next week.